Hi, my name is Siri. Before I had accepted Jesus to my life, you would have thought I was a girl who had everything. I had a loving husband, two children at the time, and my own business. I had everything, but I didn't have peace and I didn't have hope, and I didn't know the meaning of life. That, that led me to feeling depressed and eventually suicidal. These suicidal thoughts would come and go every so often, but in 2009, it became more and more frequent from monthly to weekly, and I was trapped in this thought that I was stuck in a karma cycle. If I had killed myself in my last life, I had to kill myself in this life. As long as I can remember, I prayed every night to all sacred beings to protect my family and me from harm and evil. I wasn't praying to just one God, but trying to cover all my bases by saying all sacred beings. And as an adult, I pray to ask all these beings to help me be free, free from the karmic cycle, to be free from the spiraling black hole that was my depression. I was born and raised Buddhist. Buddhism doesn't really address the issue of God. If you ask a true Buddhist, they would say, it doesn't matter if there's a God or not, but it had always mattered to me. Ever since I was a child, I always believed in a God. Somehow I believe there's this being that's bigger than me, bigger than everything. But I didn't know who this being was. And the first time I heard the name Jesus was in a Catholic international school in Tokyo. I would attend mass and sing the nice songs, but I didn't believe what they were saying about Jesus. I thought he was a fictional man in a collection of fictional characters. I even explored Islam and then later Hinduism as an adult in my search for the truth, in my search for the meaning of life. One night, I was doing a ritual that I do every single night in front of all these man-made representations of gods and goddesses and Ganesha. I would do this ritual of worshipping them every night. One night, I was sitting there and I felt like I wasn't done. I felt this anger inside, I felt this frustration at them, and I yelled out, I paid so much money for all of you, but none of you can help me. And then I heard a voice, I heard God pray to God, and I thought, I do believe in God. So I started praying, and it was awkward, but it felt real, it felt like someone was actually listening to me. The urge to kill myself was getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and I knew I needed help, but I was too embarrassed to get professional help. I was in this deep pit of confusion and guilt. What was wrong with me? Why did I want to kill myself? I don't want to kill myself. One afternoon, I was lying in bed, and I didn't realize it. While I was lying there crying, I raised up my arm, and I said, Jesus, help me. And I stopped myself. I was like, why did I say that? I don't believe in Jesus. Who is Jesus? But over the next few weeks, I couldn't get the name Jesus out of my mind. And even when I would go on the internet to find the most painless way to kill myself, I would end up on websites or a video of somebody telling me, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you. And I was like, this is strange, who is this Jesus? Actually, at that time, I was really worshiping Ganesha. So I was confused, who is Jesus, who is Ganesha? So I went to Google and searched Ganesha and Jesus. And I was brought to this website where they had a diagram of a cross representing Jesus representing Jesus who died for us and only with Jesus as a bridge between us sinners and a holy, pure God. We could never reach this God and we need Jesus. And at that moment, as if something clicked and my eyes were open and I realized I need Jesus and I started breaking down, crying, crying and thanking God and asking, is this real? Could this really be true? I need Jesus and I felt His love pouring down into my heart like streams of water, like a waterfall. This pure love I've never felt before, I've never experienced before. And then I continued reading on the website and I came to the button where I clicked confirming, yes, I want to give my life to Jesus. And since then, my life has changed dramatically. As a Christian, it's not like I don't have problems or I don't have sadness. They still come, but I no longer have this emptiness, this void inside me because God has filled it. And He reassures me through His Word and through prayer that He is always with me, no matter what, no matter how dark it gets. He tells me that He will never leave me nor forsake me. He has plans for me, plans to prosper me, not to harm me, plans to give me hope and a future. And most importantly, I have a personal relationship with the Creator of the universe who loves us so much that He gave His one and only Son to die for us, so that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life with Him. 
Since I've given my life to Him, God's love has filled the void inside. Now instead of thoughts of self-harm and self-hate, I'm convinced that God is my refuge, He is my hope, and Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Those condemning thoughts have now been changed to, I shall not die, but live and proclaim the works of the Lord.